Hey, my beautiful people, how is it going? Jacob here, and today we'll be playing a game. Yeah, today we'll be learning a Flexbox, and there's a nice game called uh, Flexbox Froggy, uh, which actually will help me to learn Flexbox. And honestly, I want to finish it alive. And I want to like see how my CSS skills will improve after this. So let's 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 do it. Let's run it. So as you can see here, uh, this is the the game. All right, I'll just play some music for my headphones, so I'll be pumped. Uh, and yeah, this is the the one challenge which my friend Kazi did, and I decided uh, after watching this video that I will do the same. So let's do it. So the mission of the the goal of this uh, game is to actually put the frogs on their leaves, all right? So we have to always have display flex because otherwise the flex box will be uh, deactivated. And then we have the certain functions, all right? So in this case, we have to write justify content and we have certain options. So for example, flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around. So there are, those are like different options to move items around. And in this case, I believe that it was just a flex end, all right? And we'll move the frog in the end, yeah, boom, done. Uh, let's go further with it. All right, so we have a two frogs right now, the green one, the yellow one, we, we just need to move them uh, to the center. So I believe that right now we have to type just justify content and we have to move them to the center. So I believe it's the center. Yeah, right, Let's let's go. All right, now we have a three frogs. And I believe that, so if we move it to the center right now, it won't work, all right, because uh, we have um, some spacing around them, right? We have some spacing around them. And as we remember, there was something called space around. Space around or something like this. I, I, I can't remember, oh yeah. I can't remember really those those names. So we had a space between a space around. Let's take a look very quickly what will happen if we type space between. So space between uh, was actually creating the equal space B between those objects, right? And the space around was creating the equal space here. All right, fine. Let's move forward. And now what we have to do will be actually interesting. So let's type justify content. And what we have to do, we have to make spaces between those frogs. So now it will be space uh, between. Yep. Exactly. All right, guys, let, let's move forward. I really like this game so far. Uh, it really teaches me how to actually move uh, elements. So next time, I hope that I'll be able to center my diff. All right, we got a new new thing. So basically, they told us that we can use uh, new functions, uh, new properties, I think. Yes, yeah, so we got a... We can use the baseline, which this space at the baseline, the container and stretch, which are st stretched to fit the container. Okay, cool. So let, let's, let's play around with it. Align items. So in this case, as you can see, we got a new property, right? Align items. So it will actually move those frogs uh, and the column. So let's let's play around. And for example, let's type center. Okay, that's cool. That's fair. What will happen if I type base baseline? Nothing happens. Why? Uh, no idea. Let's type stretch. Also, nothing happened. Okay, but in this case, it's obviously flex end but I just wanted to play around a little bit with those properties and see what we can do. Okay, cool. That was easy one. Uh, now, yeah, we have to move the frog to the center here and to the center, like horizontal and vertical. So it's pretty simple. So let's do justify content center. Oh, I, <laughs> I have one 
application running. Yeah, justify content center, boom, and align items. I really like this game. I really like this game. Boom. Finally, I can learn somehow how to style this. Okay, now it's a tricky one because we need to move the frogs uh, down so it will be align items uh, end, right? Flex end, or, or how is it? And we have to create the space uh, between those frogs on both lefts and the uh, right side. So it will space around. So let's do justify justify content space uh, around. Right, and now let's do align items. Items, and let's move uh, those frogs uh, down. So it's a flex end. No, how was it? Wait, I forgot the, yeah, flex end. Align. Oh, yeah, I have the typo. <laughs> yeah, boom, great. Level six, seven. Uh, we are we are getting uh, far and far, guys. I really wonder if I'll pass the whole game. Damn, like this is my goal to, to, to finish the whole game. I see that they have also other game called uh, something for a CSS grid, grid, grid garden. I'll also uh, create a video for this, no worries. Because I damn it, those are like really cool. I need to check if they they have like some Python games. Okay, so what happened? The frog seems to get in the same order. We have flex direction. Damn. So this property defines the direction uh, of uh, frogs. So we can actually reverse the items. Damn, I would never think about that when I was creating the. Uh, like some front end that I can actually reverse the order of my uh, items. I would probably do it uh, in the database, uh, like when I while fetching the data from API. <laughs> All right, so um, we got a flex direction, and we can do row, which didn't change. Any oh, row reverse. Okay. Okay, that's cool. But I want to see what column does. Damn, I can actually transfer it. Uh, cool, I can do also column reverse. Okay, so it reverse the, oh yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay, yeah, so but, but in this case, it's just a road reverse. Okay, that's that's great, let's, let's go uh, level nine, almost half. Uh, so in this case, we just, yeah, we have to do flex direction uh, row. What happened? Oh, sorry, column, of course. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go further. Uh, in this case, what do we have to do? There's a flex direction and justify content to use in this case, right? So it looks like uh, we have to change the order of the items first, like we have to reverse them. Let's do this then, flex direction. Let's do reverse. What happened? Flex there. Oh yeah, row reverse. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So it reversed the items, and now we have to move them to uh, to the start. So it it was justify content, and we do flex start. Or in this case, flex end, right? Because we reverse them. So now starts is the end. That's smart. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, cool. Level 11. All right. So what we have to do is we have to for sure make them into the column. So let's do flex direction. Let's do a uh, column. Okay, and we have to move them to, till the end, to, uh, so it's a justify flex end. 
Yeah, cool. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that before this game, I had no idea about flexbox at all. I, I would never do this. I like centering the diff for me. It was disaster. I was always trying to to literally Google how to center the certain thing. For example, in the bootstrap components, I was literally spending time on a stack overflow because I was scared. I was literally scared of this. And this is a great example because I'm learning while doing. Okay, so. Uh, in this case, uh, for sure, we have to do uh, change it to column. So we do flex direction and we do column and we have to reverse it, right? So we do column reverse and justify content. We have to uh, do the spacing between the, uh, between the frogs the same. So it's actually... Uh, how is it? I forgot the name. <laughs> it was space between. Exactly. Cool. Now, wow, we got 50% completed, guys. Okay, now we are going to mix three properties. I'm, I'm excited, guys. I really wonder what will be like level 12, 24 or, or something like this, guys. But yeah, mm, so in this case, we for sure have to uh, change the order of uh, frogs, so we do frag flex direction, reverse, like a row reverse, of course. Okay, and now we have to justify content. So we have to put it to the center and we need to move them all uh, way down, right? So align items and it was, uh, I forgot the property name, flex end. Boom, <laughs> I love it, I love it guys. All right, all right, let's, let's, let's keep, keep, keep doing. Oh, we got a new levels, wow. So w what just appeared here, let's take a look because it looks uh, harder. Sanders rinse the row column it's not enough. In this cases, we can apply the order to individual items. Wow. Okay. Use the order property to reorder the frogs according to their lily pads. Oh yeah, because, oh yeah. So we have to put the yellow. Uh, wait, how does it work? So let's do yellow minus one. Oh, sorry, order. And and then like like this? Wait. Oh shit. Oh no no, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back. Because I didn't really ca understood it. What happens if you do, for example, minus one? Wait. Hold on, hold on. So we gotta order like this, okay? And then we can put the array of items, right? Okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Hmm, maybe like this. No? Okay, one. These are default items have the value of zero. Okay, so what just happened here? If the yellow had zero, and now it has one, it moved. I'm not sure if I should like use it in this way. I I'm pretty sure that I fucked up something. So if we do minus one, then those two change their mm, order. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, let's move forward. Maybe I'll understand it in the uh, next step. So in this case, we do order and we tap one. Okay, so we are changing the frog here. Oh, I see, I see. So we have to take this one, move it to the left, minus two or three. Yeah, two, because on the zero, zero and then they, they both will uh, change their position. Yeah, I totally get it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Another property, you can apply the individual uh, aligned self to this property, accept the same values as aligned items. Okay, so it's align self. And then flex, uh, flex and 
interesting because if we type for example align align items nothing happens okay so yeah because they already are here flex start and then we apply the like we somehow override its position and we type flex and I, I I get it I get it all right okay guys we almost there we almost there and it's getting harder yeah so combine order with align self to help those frogs with their destination okay okay I can do this first let's change the order okay so what we want to do is put the order of three otherwise three wait okay so we have order like this right it's zero if we type one whoa honestly i have no idea why is it working so that's interesting how, how how should I look at this? Wait, specify the order of the flex item. Zero minus one or one? Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. But how does it work? So we take both yellow frogs, right? They have number zero. If we type minus one, this frog stays the same. And this one is moving one left, right? If we type one, yeah, I, I just don't get it why if we type one, like this frog goes here, but why this frog goes here instead of here? Yeah, I, I don't really get it, but it looks fine. Yeah, I'll just leave it because it works. <laughs> and that, like, this is also the case, right? Sometimes programming, you, you may don't really know 100% why is it working, but if you try it and this works, then it's great. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do a line. Oh yeah, I didn't put uh, the symbol, symbol here. Align self, flex, and. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Flex wrap, what is this? <laughs> yeah, oh no. The frogs are squeezed into single row of lily pads, spread them out using flex wrap, property which accept the following values. No wrap, wrap, wrap reverse. Okay. So let's try it out. I'm super excited to try how does it work. Okay, so it doesn't work. Okay. So it wrap around uh, additional lines and we have to probably reverse it. No, we don't. Oh yeah, I see. Wrap reverse actually. Reverse, like it's wrapping the items and reversing them. That's interesting. So we want to wrap them, that's for sure. Uh, ah, yeah, and it works. Shit. I, I, okay, that's cool. All right, let's get this working. So, in our case, what we want to do for sure first is uh, flex direction. Let's do column. And now, what we want to do is want to wrap them. So, let's uh, use the wrap. We can do wrap. Yep. We could also like play around with wrap reverse. Uh, I really wonder how, how will it look like? Yeah, 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 okay. Cool. Mm, yeah, sounds good. Wow, we almost finished, guys. So what do we got here? We, 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 we have to do use two properties. Oh yeah, wow. In this case, you see the spacing here? It's nasty. <laughs> well, we have flex flow. Okay, these two properties. Oh, because they are used together too often. Okay. Wow. 
So the fl what, what a flex flow does is it basically accepts those two properties both together, right? So in our case, it's row and a wrap. So it's a flex direction and flex wrap. So yeah, that, that that's pretty uh, very cool. So we can do uh, first column and then we can do wrap. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Flex flow, oh, okay, okay. Well, we're almost finished, guys, let's go. Oh, wow, what is going on here? The frogs are spread all over the pond by the lily pads. You can use align content to set how, wait, align content, is it the new one? Yeah, to set how multiple lines are spaced apart. Well, we got flex star, flex center. It's gonna be confusing, <laughs> confusing. Yeah, it is, it is. But align content in the spacing between lines, which align items that determines how the. Wow, 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 wow! Come, slow down, slow down, slow down. It it is getting really harder. Align content. Okay. So what it, what it does is. This can be confusing, but align content determines the spacing between lines while I align items that determines, determines how the items as a whole are aligned within a container. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Okay guys, okay. So let's use, uh, let's, let's, let's use flex start. Okay, flex end. Yep. If we center it. Wow, th th this is so powerful. I'll probably use the just align content. So it takes like the whole thing. Damn. Let's do stretch. I don't know what stretch does, but it never works. But yeah, this is this is really powerful. So let's do flex start. All right, and let's let, let's try uh, for example align items. Okay, it has no effect because it was always for one row. I see. So let's do align content. Flex start. Sounds good. Oh wow! Wow, guys, we almost finished. Okay. Now the current has punched, okay? Use align content to guide the frogs there. Sure, I will. Align content, flex and boom, it's it's easy like this. I, I, I was really expecting something higher. Oh shit, here we go, <laughs> here we go. So guys, this, this thing is actually harder, but let's, let's, let's do it. First, let's do flex direction. So we want to for sure change the order, right? Like, like you see this uh, grid, right? Like, I don't know, I can call it grid, but we have to reverse it. Okay, so we do column. Okay, reverse, column reverse. Let's go, let's go, mm-hmm. And align, content, center. I believe it's center. Yeah, boom! So, this is the final boss, level 24. Bring the frogs home one last time using all of the properties. Okay guys, this is going to be tough, but I believe we can do this. So let's start by using... So for sure there are not like private properties, like those, those single ones, right? Oh no, there is align self. Really? Okay, let's start by doing, wait, justify content. Let's do it by justify content. Um, no, let's just start by actually reversing them. Okay, so let's do flex, Direction, 
column. That's for sure. And column reverse. Okay, now what we want to do is Flex wrap and flex slow. I, I forgot how to, how does it work? Oh yeah, I think, oh yeah, yeah, we have, we need to use it. We need to use it. But flex flow? Oh yeah, it was those two together, right? Oh, so we could just use the flex, uh, well, okay, let, hold on. Let's do flex wrap first. Okay, and then we can exchange, uh, change it. So let's do wrap. Mm. Okay. Rep reverse, that sounds good. And I'll show you some trick, right? If I'm not wrong, we can do flex flow and we can do column reverse and wrap reverse. Let's let's try to, to use it like this. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we almost are there, guys, we are almost there. I believe we have to do some order. Let's try order. Nope. I think order has no, nothing to do in here. So it's, uh, it, it is something with maybe align I, uh, self. Align items, but I just don't get how to get those frogs. So I have the feeling that it, it will not work. Align self flex. No. Nope. Yeah, I was like, I remember that align self was used for, for a different property and we, it, it seems like we can't mess around with it, right? Damn, it's hard. How to move those crazy frogs? Okay, we almost there, guys. No? Fuck. It, it is because... <gasps> okay, wait, 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 wait. Space. Space between. It's not the it's not this, but space around looks good. Shit. Space between. Okay, and what if we move it right now? Top right. If we do, ju justify. Yeah, guys, we made it, we made it. So yeah, the last one was really tricky. Uh, it took me a while to actually finish it. I'll probably speed it up because I don't want you to get bored. But yeah, I really learned a lot about uh, CSS uh, Flexbox. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'm going back to study for my university. See you.